Okay, I'm going to call this meeting to order at 7.08. Present are um, Christine Ressler, Leslie Jones, Brittany Morrison, and uh, guests are include Mark Johnson. Okay. We don't have any comments from the public. So we could go ahead with old business. There is none. And then on to new business. Anybody have any questions on the bills? budget for the district uh, we you guys approved the operating budget in April that basically was just so we can get a budget in for FY19 make sure that supervisors and their secretaries are able to get textbooks ordered and workbooks and things like that mm. this is now the tentative budget this is where we are at in the budget state um, right now so with all the information that we have as of today this is what we've got put into our FY19 budget. Uh, it does have to be available for review to the public, so tomorrow morning I will make sure that I have that available up at the front so anyone can look at it. Um, and then as has been District 228 practice, at the September board meeting we'll have a public hearing where I'll give my presentation on the budget um, and then you guys will vote on it at that point. So this is just a tentative budget the board does still have to approve it, make it available. If anyone has any questions, uh, either board members or public, give me a call. Uh, we can definitely talk about that. I'm really excited this year. Um, budget's balanced as of right now. So um, that's pretty exciting. Um, so, but we'll go over that again. This is just where we're at as of today. Um, you know, We'll continue to look at it, continue to monitor it. Monitor it. And then we will, uh, you know, present the final budget in September. So. Now that meeting is a committee of a whole, is it? We did a committee of the whole last year. This year, unless Dr. Kendall wants one, it'll just be the regular public hearing. So if you remember, we met, I think, at Bremen to do the committee of the whole, but then also at the September meeting, before the actual meeting starts, we'll do um, just a public That's hearing. Good. Yeah, so okay. it'll be my presentation again, comments from you guys, comments from the public, mm -hmm. and then you'll vote on it once we get to the action items. Okay. Any questions on it? Okay. Um, CBS tentative budget, this is, they have to follow basically the same practice as us. So uh, tomorrow morning, the CBS budget will be available. She has it in this format for right now. It looks a little bit different. It's just not officially in the state form, but um, this is how she, gets it ready to be imported into the state form. Um, like I said, they have all the same approval as us. So tentative budget usually in July and then approved final budget um, in September. Any questions on that? No. Okay. Our next item is the US securities contract renewal. We are going to be recommending a one-year extension with U.S. Securities just through next year. Uh, we are increasing the pay wage for our security to approximately $13 an hour. Um, last year was $2.31 less for our bill rate, but we do believe that this increase in our bill rate is warranted. Um, you know, we've kind of had a lot of turnover with our securities in the district, our security officers, so we think Giving them this increase will help eliminate that, maybe get us um, you know, a more stable security staff in our buildings, get us higher higher caliber security and just a, a better security team, basically. So we, we had 
my understanding, we had a contract. We have a contract with them to 2019. We have a contract that officially ended or end. June 30th. Now we're going to be recommending a one-year extension through June 30, 2019. Okay. Right. Because. So we think by them having the salary, we're going to keep the same people, but just give them more money or? Well, right now we do have a lot of turnover. So we're losing security officers to companies that are paying more for mm -hmm. their security officers. So we think by increasing our bill rate for them, we'll have a better chance of keeping more people in our district. We have done some research on different security companies and they are still the cheapest ones. So. We're going to give them, you know, another year, another contract extension, kind of see how this bill rate goes. Maybe we just have a better chance of keeping our security mm -hmm. officers, get, you know, get more people that stay and get to know our students and our staff better. So who's, who determines the bill rate? Because was it our, is it something that we came up with or? Well, the, our account rep uh, gave me a proposal and I basically, kind of did a little negotiating with him on on the bill rate. Um, he actually had it at like 18.75 an hour for the first contract that he gave us. Um, then I was able to negotiate it down to $18 an hour, which is only $2.31 difference over last year. It's still a, a decent increase, but um, he is adamant that this is how we're gonna get more, more security officers to stay in our district. And um, so we're gonna, we're going to increase the payers, and, and they also did raise minimum wage in Chicago again. Mm -hmm. So this company, they do a lot of, um, you might see them, some of them are at like Aldi, um, they got USPS facilities and things like that. So right now it's just trying to stay competitive with those other companies that are paying more and then hopefully just bringing in, you know, a little bit more I'm, stable I, staff. I know you had to do... A you know, bargaining or uh, appropriate bargaining, and they did just change it in the, the bills for them to have a certain salary. But are we getting what we're paying for, basically? Are we compromising, compromising quality, yeah, quality yeah. for the lower salary? Right. Well, according to our account rep, we're paying for what we're getting. So yeah. paying that lower rate, lower rate is essentially drawing a lot of our security team members away because they can make more if they were to work at different companies. According to our account rep, he said, you know, increase the pay, meet the minimum wage requirements that are in Chicago mm -hmm. right now. And he thinks that it'll definitely provide us a higher caliber security team. Isn't this something I would expect yeah. them to filter out and take right. care of for us? Like why, why is it on us to negotiate that when that's something that... that, that I think when it comes down to it, um, they they do, and they they actually are pretty good about you know getting in contact with us if if any of our school administrators have a problem with a security officer. We go to our account rep to basically say to him we've got an issue with this person. Now they are claiming that we're paying them so low that they don't want to stay with us. That's basically what they're saying. So they've suggested to us we increase the bill rate. We pay a little bit more. We raise we raise their pay wage, and you know he thinks we'll be able to keep keep our security officers a little bit longer because we do have quite a bit of turnover in the district. Like I said, um, you know we've got like two or three people in the district that we've kept forever. Everyone else they don't they don't really want to stay because we don't pay them as well. So well, Dr. I mean, Kendall, sorry, go ahead. Uh, I know Dr. Kendall was talking about getting another company because. Yes. Across the board, I mean, from parents and students alike, mm -hmm. we even hear it at the student meetings. Um, we he heard it from uh, different personnel that this this company is not uh, filtering out good quality. Um, and we were looking at going to maybe getting our own or or going another route uh, yeah. as far as security because this is not working for us at all. We did explore some other companies. From what I can tell, I've spoken with a couple of other business managers at different districts. They kind of, the average is five. So that's what I've heard a lot. We've got five security officers. They usually get three that they really like, one that's okay, and one that they don't really like. So we have been exploring other companies. Again, they are still, even with this pay raise, they are still the most affordable company. Now. Um, we've kind of heard, we did discuss with our building principals kind of where they were at with the company. Some, some people, some of our principals have said, 
you know, no, they're fine. You know, we, we get along with them just fine. So it kind of, it all depends on the personnel. I will say the other thing that we are adding next year with this contract will be an account manager who is going to oversee all of the security in the district. So one person will float from building to building to monitor our security guards. The other thing that they've mentioned, especially with this new account manager, is an increased training program, basically. So from what I understand, each of our security officers does go through a training, but now we're gonna add another site supervisor mm -hmm. and another account manager. These two people will be basically in charge of, here's your team, you'll oversee it, you'll manage the training for it, and then communicate with the building administration as to how their thinking is going, mm -hmm. what do they want changed, what do they want kept the same, basically. So given the climate today with security and just mm -hmm. a lot of the un unfortunate situations that we're seeing mm -hmm. around school districts and anything like that, I think the comment that alarms me is you pay what you get for. Right. So what am I getting? Mm -hmm. Right. You know, I you know, are you gonna jump in front of a bullet for my kid mm -hmm. or are you gonna, you know, walk back because you're not getting paid enough, you know, to right. stop a fight because right. you don't wanna get yourself mm -hmm. injured or something like that. Like oh, okay. I guess I wanna understand better what is it what is what does that mean then? What are we paying for? Because like I said, at the end of the day, I don't wanna compromise the student safety or the quality of security right. guards because mm -hmm. uh, of this uh pay differentiation mm -hmm. and then on top of that if that if we've got concerns about the quality that we're getting today mm -hmm. that now we've got to send a babysitter to all four schools to make sure they're doing their job I'd right. rather just get a different company altogether right and I totally agree with you that was my whole concern as well you know we want to make sure we're getting the, the best mm -hmm. security officers that we can especially like you said with the climate of school security just in general yeah. um, I will say I think so we do have police officers in each of our building as well those police officers are armed and they are basically off-duty cops from that city. Mm -hmm. So as far as differentiating their their roles and their duties, I'm not so sure I'm comfortable. I, I can tell you what I think, but I don't know for yeah, sure. Yeah, if you don't have it today, that's fine. Yeah, no, I can mm -hmm. totally you know talk to Dr. Kendall. I don't want to say this is exactly what yeah. they're supposed to do in this situation. I'm not right. really sure because I know that we do have the police officers and they are the ones that are armed sure. and they're off-duty cops basically um i will say i know a lot of our security officers if you'll notice like if you go into bremen they have someone who mans the door who lets make sure that they're checking ids mm -hmm. and things like that um, other security guards i've seen monitor the hallways make sure that there's you know no issues in between passing periods and during lunches and things like that now as far as jumping in front of a bullet for them i don't know if i'm comfortable yeah. answering that but we no, can no. definitely find the out poli yeah, the police officers i don't have a problem with because mm -hmm. i'm I, I know of them and I know they've mm -hmm. always had great reputation. We've mm -hmm. given them awards for their services mm -hmm. and I I know I, I think I know their caliber right. and I feel comfortable with the police officers. Mm -hmm. But the thing is the backup safety and also the question is how much are we paying for this person to go